Hey, what's up, Zendu Nation? So today, instead of working out, we're actually going to enter a donut eating contest. I'm totally kidding. Um, we're actually going to do like a pretty hard workout in the rain. I don't want to get my shoes wet. Mm. So on today's high intensity jump rope workout, we're going to focus on jump rope. We're also going to focus on some lower body squats so that you have a difficult time walking after this. It's going to be super fun. I know you're excited. If you repeat this circuit five times. Um, yeah, it's about 30 minutes. You're going to be super tired and sweaty, but you'll thank me or hate me. I don't know. If you liked this video and you want more free weekly workouts, nutrition tips, and just to laugh and make this whole fitness thing fun and easier, go ahead and give, give our channel, excuse me, a subscribe. Also like this video. And if you want to learn to optimize your fitness for happiness, meaning getting the body you want, but making the process easy and fun, check out our coaching link below. It's the Zen Dude Fitness Coaching Program. It's super fun and mad people are transforming. It's, uh, it's a pretty kick-ass time in there. I'm done rambling. We're going to work out so that you can be done with this quick and then get back to like, I don't know, whatever it is you do on rainy days. Guys, to start things off, we're going to start with jump rope running up and back. So what we're going to do right here is just all you're doing is regular jump rope. So always remember, guys, you want little, very, very, very little movement here. So small range of motion in my wrist. It's okay if you mess up. Just get right back on track. No worries. Um, and my feet aren't really coming that high off the ground. As you can see, um, my elbows are staying in and my hands are jutting directly out to the sides of my hips. And again, there's really not a whole lot of movement going on. Good guys. Up next. Sorry for the motorcycles in the background in case you can hear them. My apologies. All right, squat hold, guys. Here we go. All you're doing is sitting down in a squat for 30 seconds right now. Normally, you can do this. You can do a wall sit where you sit against the wall and do this. But in this case, we are just going to do a straight up squat hold. And what, it's important to be a little bit less than 90 degrees. 90 degrees is fine. And if you see here, my toes are pointed out slightly and my heels are about shoulder width apart. Form over everything, guys. Form over everything. It's super, super important. Uh, all right, up next. We have jump rope front straddle. Good, guys. So this is just like regular bounce, except you're just slightly jumping back and forth over an imaginary line. Notice any jump rope workout that I ever do, nothing changes about my upper body movement. Everything is staying the same, term, wrists are staying. I'm controlling the rope with my wrists view. and keeping it tight. The the Knees are slightly bent and my feet are just coming slightly back and forth. Good guys, three, two, where we one. Now it is time to take longer strides. Time for a great new American enterprise. Time for this nation to take a clearly leading role in faith achievement. Good, I'm actually jumping lunges. Good guys, you're just coming up and down, up and down, exploding, exploding. Use your arms to pull some momentum on your way up. Good. Good. Good guys, just so you can get a different angle there, I'm coming straight up in the air and I'm pushing off of my heel. That front foot, I'm not using my toe, I'm pushing back off with my heel, so I engage my glute. Good guys. Up next, jump rope crisscross. So, again, a lot of people, it's okay if you're a beginner and you can do this, you can just do regular bounce, that's not an issue. Um, to those who want to challenge them, themselves, it's really not that um, difficult of a move because there's not a whole lot of extra movement required outside of regular bounce. So if you see, I'm just making a little figure eight motion with my hands circling in and out and then crossing them over. Good guys, jumping jacks, pretty straightforward. I think we've all done this. Just go as intense as you possibly can. Make sure you're getting your arms out there and swing them as much as you are able to.
I believe Good guys, jump rope is regular bounce. And here it's important again because the elbows are in, hands are jutting out to the side. The wrists, knees are slightly bent. And see my toes, they're not even coming. They're probably not even coming more than an inch off the ground. This is where you want to. Uh, a lot of people think that jump rope is a high impact sport. It is totally not if you don't do it correctly. So see me doing it here. Last one, guys. Of course, I'm going to make you guys finish with another squat hold because I'm mean like that. Um, but yeah, same thing, guys. So you're just down at a 90 degree angle here. Heels about shoulder width apart. And what I what I like to try and do during these is breathe into my nose out to five. Inhale, like inhale, exhale to five into the nose out to the mouth. Um, and stare at something straightforward so that I forget that I'm sitting in kind of an uncomfortable position for an extended period of time. Time for a great new American enterprise. Time for this nation to take a clearly leading role in state achievements.